The blonde one was my cup of tea. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The thing is, they're, they're not interested in sex. They just want to like. Those girls? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just want to be fat. They're all awesome. <laughs> sexy. Sex is fun. Sex is tiring. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> I made some sort of feeble attempt at a start. Right, here we are, Clash Magazine, roaming again the streets of Camden. And who we found this evening? The drums. So, guys, tell us a little bit, just a little bit about your time in London for like, what, six hours now? Yeah, we woke, we woke up in France. And, uh, and, and we, where in France? Uh, we were at the Cannes Film Festival. We played a, we played a show, not a show, but we did a, a TV thing there. And then we uh, we came here. We got yanked out of bed. We didn't get our wake up call from the hotel. That's lame. So uh, our uh, our manager is just pounding on the door, <laughs> saying the ta the cab's here. And, you know, we had gone out, so. Your, your manager, who doesn't want to be on film, who is uh, that? Lovely Amy. <laughs> Amy, yeah, oh, I'll tell you. She's gonna, that, that's going to get cut out, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to allow that. Yeah, and not. so, okay, France yesterday, London today, tomorrow. London today. Actually, we have um, an unheard of two days off uh, tomorrow what? and the next day. Uh, You're kind of slacking. I know, man. It's crazy. <laughs> and where are we going after that? Hell. Are we going? Oh, we're going to Amsterdam. And when's that? Two days time. Yeah, yeah, Amsterdam. Two days time. Well, you're kind of slacking then a bit. We are, man. We're just, <laughs> we're just lazy fellas. But the rumor is there's a couple of London dates going on, a little bit later on in the calendar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, playing heaven. Playing heaven. Yeah, two nights. Wow. Uh, How do you, like, is that going to be days. fun or what? You know no idea what it is. I have no idea. Oh, well, no. So you're going to enjoy yourself. I know, it's cool. The crowd right? is going to be epic. How does London kind of compare to New York or whatever? Like Camden specifically, well, really? Like Honestly, London is like, we really, have, at first we were having a hard time. Why, in London? Well, we just all really love America a lot. Well, and you know, we, love, blame we love New York a lot. And where who, we live. who doesn't really? And Anybody uh, who ever, ever sees it on a postcard, they love it, let alone go there. It's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful place. It's full of wonder and mystery. And uh, it's a very complex city, and, and I love everything about it. But, you know, coming here, at first we were just kind of like, felt really disheveled. But then, when you go on tour and you see the rest of Europe, and then you come back to London, it almost feels like a, a sort of like your second home or something. A home from home, Very yeah. comforting. It actually is comforting to be here, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, Flower Pot was our first show ever in it's Europe. It's a good place. Ever. It's a good venue. And it was really cool. And, and so in the, it's cool. you obviously got you got, you got a massively busy calendar. Like you know, we obviously had a little sneaky peek of it, and it's. <laughs> I'm tired just looking at it. So I mean, you know, I'm tired from tonight let alone uh, another ten weeks of this or however long it is. But are there any specific dates that you're kind of looking forward to, or like you know, specific gigs that you're kind of looking forward to? I think there was a Summer Sonic Festival at, in Japan. Yeah, we're excited to go to Japan. Really excited about that. In, in comparison to like gigs and festivals, which sort of comes up higher up the ranking, is it kind of like, because they're quite well, different, aren't they? To like watch a gig and to watch a festival is a completely different kind of thing. Yeah. But to play, which is it like? We haven't, is, we haven't experienced it at all. You've really not experienced gigs? No. Like, like, as in like uh, oh, We played at South by Southwest, but I mean, yeah, that must it's been not good, even though. like the, it's, I don't know, like I see, you know, pictures from, from your festivals here and it's just out of control. <laughs> They're just massive. Yeah, in America, massive. we don't have anything really like that. A big, big thing. There's a couple, Coachella. Yeah, yeah, Coachella. Well, Coachella. Coachella, like, got ruined this year. Like, I had so many friends that were supposed to be going out to Coachella and then this volcano thing happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did, like, did you guys get dis disrupted by that at all? Yeah, or but is it was that... awesome because we got vacation. Days off. <laughs> yeah, we got days off. You know, obviously in the past sort of year, like really it's taken off, hasn't it? Like, for oh, you guys. It's the only year that we've been. Well, I don't know so. about the only year. You know, you've, individually you've had kind of things going on in the past that have been what a lot of people would That's class true. as 
big things. You know, somebody getting signed is a big thing. Like you know, right. so and, you, and you've had that individually. Graduating <laughs> yeah, graduating college. You know, using your virginity, like all of these big things. But at the moment, you guys have had like huge things. Like like you're on the like literally like the brink brink of you know massive things. Yeah. How does that Maybe. feel? What disaster! It could all fall apart tomorrow. Man. No way. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Or tonight, or tonight. Man. Well, there's, a, there's a big chance of that happening tonight. <laughs> yeah. um, You're talking yeah. to me for first of all. I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> no man, it's cool. We're just you know, we're just grateful for everything that's happened. And, you know, like I said, like you know, people are fickle. Everything's fickle. So I think it's good there to see like. I think genuinely what sort of happened like tonight, like I'd be honest, the first time I saw you guys play was tonight and uh, it was fun, like serious oh, fun. Oh, good. Like, uh, and, uh, That's it. You know, I've been telling people lately because it's a revelation I've had. Is the only thing in life that's important. The only thing is having fun. Yeah. That's it. Nothing that's else matters. And to keep hydrated. And to keep hydrated. Well, really. you can have 13 bottles of Volvic so down. Like, you it involves well. a lot, but that is the most important thing. That's, that's what I learned. I, I don't care about anything else anymore. I um, only care about having fun. Well, you guys are certainly like living the fun at the moment. Tiring as it may be. Tire, like fun can be tiring. Yeah, that's like 10 on my list. That's, what, that's, like, like, you, that's like the small 10 print. on your list? What's more important than having fun? God. Family and stuff. But that's, that's got to be the small print of fun. Family. Like, uh, <laughs> you guys won't sleep. When you see, when you kind of see fun, you see that in bold, and then underneath that is like, you won't sleep. I think that's you why I really like sleeping. <laughs> Wait, I'm too sad. Hell, the interview. Out I, you know, I was thinking thing. today, I wanted to take a nap because I was so exhausted, and I thought, I'm too sad to sleep. Have you ever been too sad? You're like really <laughs> thinking about something, you're so sad, and you just can't fall asleep. You should have got up and had fun. I know. The fun you were talking about just a minute ago. Well, I said this too. The most important thing, I didn't say it's always achievable. <laughs> but it is the most important thing. It was always striving for it. Always but striving for it. Being sad feels really good sometimes, too. You know? Who does that, that sometimes? No, it does. It? You have to really give yourself. As a give writer, in. Like, when you write songs, yeah. like being sad must be like as good as being happy. Right. Yes. Yeah, well, like, I don't think anyone is happy. I don't think you're happy. I don't think you're happy. I'm certainly not. No one's really happy. I mean, you think there are some people out If there. you're over the age of 12, you're not happy. Give me a break. <laughs> that's so right. So true. That so, like, so that's right. why people relate to sad songs. That's why. Yeah, no matter what, where you're from and what you do, no matter how high you are in the, in the chain, you do find sad songs pretty... You do yeah, cause relate to it. Everyone's miserable, man. <laughs> but, but on a happy note... But on a happy note, <laughs> there are people like you who are miserable. There are people like me that are miserable. And you know when you hear a and when song. And we get together. Though. When you hear a, yeah, yeah, no, that's the thing. It's like you hear a song about being miserable, and you're miserable. And then when you hear that, suddenly you're kind of not miserable for those three minutes. Because you, you know somebody else is not miserable too. You're it's not the, on your own. It's the it's the magic of a of a pop song. <laughs> right. Well, I'm not going to bother you guys any longer now. <laughs> We're talking about being miserable. I mean. And that doesn't get much better in an interview, really. <laughs> but thank you so much. I've got to shake your hand. Thank, thank you, you so, so thank much. You. It was an yeah, amazing yeah, gig. Yeah, and, uh, oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, and, uh, well, let's to, to, to here to being, to, to being happy, really. <laughs> to being happy. There's always wow. that. To the Volvic. <laughs> Cheers.